What's up you guys? Welcome back to No Man's Sky and welcome back to my channel as well. We've got big things in the works today. I do want to work on our base, but before we work on our base, I think we need to set up some farms because that is going to be super helpful in actually building our base to build the base that I want, which I'm wanting to make it pretty big. Pretty big and with lots going on. We're going to need lots of ferrite dust and we are also going to need a lot of other resources. So I am planning on setting up some farms for those things so that when we do go to build a base, we'll have just kind of like an infinite supply of ferrite dust, an infinite supply of chromatic metal, and it'll be great. It'll be excellent. I uh, did some homework um, in between these videos and I got a bunch of nanites and a bunch of money so that we could... Uh, have more stuff to build. So I got a bunch of nanites. I unlocked a bunch of things here at the synthesis laboratory because um, I had to unlock all of these so we could actually build the survey device because otherwise that wasn't going to work. Um, I unlocked the survey device, obviously. And then, oh, this is kind of cute one. Okay, it's actually not cute at all, but it's like, I like it, you know? I do wish it wasn't like gray. Maybe we'll, and it's only a C-class, maybe we'll go to a couple space stations and see if we can find a new multi-tool. Let's head out. I am gonna go, so the planet that our home world is on actually has quite a bit of stuff that we can use to harvest the resources. Um, well, actually first, let's just double check. What do we need to do? So we need three magnetic resonators. Well, how do I build those? I need ionized cobalt. Okay, excellent. Do I have any cobalt? I don't know that I do. Oh, I do. I have 173. So I need to go in and ionize that in the refiner. And then let's see what else. For the quantum computer, I need one microprocessor, one antimatter. Cool, I can make that. I need carbon nanotubes. Okay, so this will be relatively simple. And then what was the last thing we needed? Oh, two wiring looms. Okay, well, let's go actually to the space station then. And we'll buy a couple wiring looms. Okay, so let's buy the wiring looms. And then I actually think I have some ancient bones to sell too. And this definitely sell that okay so we need what two wiring looms excellent and you know what while we're here let's go look at the multi-tool see if we got a cool one i want like a colorful one you know okay this does look pretty cool though i'm not gonna lie it's like a longer version of the one that was at the anomaly Oh, and look at how many slots it has for stuff. I love it. And it's a B class. I mean, it's not like great, but it's 2 million units. I could exchange mine and get it. Should we just do it? I think we should. I mean, we can look for another one later, but honestly, like, we need, uh, we need to get this going. You know what it doesn't have, though, is a terrain manipulator. We might need that, but we'll install it. <laughs> It'll be fine. Okay, cool. I think I got it, right? Yep, there it is. There she is. Should we go ahead and install um, Advanced Mining Laser? I feel like we need to install that too. Let's go ahead and install that. Okay. Oh man. I need some carbon nanotubes. I guess I'm gonna have to go buy some more wiring looms really quick. And then let's... We also want to install this one, the survey device. I don't have anything we need. Great. Lastly, I also have this, and apparently I have the stuff I need for that. Oh, you know what? We need to install the terrain manipulator. Okay, I need carbon nanotubes, dihydrogen jelly. You know what? I'm rich. Maybe I should just go buy some carbon really quick to just get this done quickly, because like, I'm not trying to deal with this forever. Um, I'm going to install it down here. Oh my god, they don't even have carbon. Okay, I guess we're just gonna go. We're just gonna go. It's okay, we'll find some. All right, we're back. Back home. Oh, also in my absence, I did quickly just build this landing pad because I hate it when your ship's just like randomly here. And then if you have a landing pad, then you don't have to use launch fuel to get off it. It's just so nice. Okay, I need... Oh my god, I'm on my gun. Hold on. 
I need carbon. We need two of these, and then we're gonna go ahead and put them. Here. Okay, we now have a terrain manipulator. All right, excellent. Added it in. Okay, so we need to make three magnetic resonators, so let's figure out how we do that. We need ionized cobalt, and we need magnetized ferrite. Okay, excellent. I believe we have a portable refiner. We're just gonna put this down right here for now. Put some carbon in it. Okay, now let's get this going. Honestly, I'm not sure if that's enough. We will find out. Also, can I talk, can we talk about this actual herd of these massive, massive creatures that are just passing through? Look how many there are. This is crazy. This is insane. Okay, there's, okay. I'm getting distracted. Stick to the program. Excellent. We should be able to build it now. Cool. Oh no, what are we missing now? We need 34 more ionized cobalt. Okay. Let's go get stuff. Also, I think like in theory for what I'm doing with setting up these farms, they don't need to be on this planet. Like there might actually be better spots on different planets, but I kind of like the idea of doing them all here. And then it's like, it's like, this is our planet. Maybe we should name it too. Something that has to do with orange, like tangerine land or something. Now that's dumb. We're not doing that. <laughs> We're not doing that. Okay. Um, where's my cobalt? While we're waiting on that, let's go ahead and install these. All right. And we'll make another one of these. Done. Here we go. All right. Last part. The quantum computer installed. All right, we did it. We installed the survey device. All right, well, let's see, I guess, if there's anything around here. So here's what we're looking for. For the ferrite dust mine, um, or just the ferrite mine, I guess, we are looking for a deposit of paraffinium. For chromatic metal, we're looking for a deposit of copper. And then we're also just generally looking for an electromagnetic hotspot so that we can build our base next to it so it can be powered. So let's take a look. Okay, so no nearby hotspot for that. No nearby hotspot for anything. Excellent. Okay, well, why don't we fly around a little bit? So the deposits are listed as CBAS tier in the same way that the multi tools and the ships are and stuff. I'm not incredibly worried about how they are. Like, I think we'll be okay, kind of regardless. Let's see. And I also would like for it to be somewhere relatively flat as well. All right, why don't we go here? See if there's anything around here. Okay, there is a hot spot. Oh, it's an S tier. Okay. Into it. Wonder what it's for. What's annoying is you can't really like run and do it at the same time, so it kind of takes forever. Also, if you hear like jingly bells in the background, it's because my cat is furiously grooming himself. Okay, we're almost there. We're almost there. Okay, it is, oh my gosh, it's an S tier paraffinium deposit. This is actually best case scenario. So let's go ahead and put a marker down here. We're gonna build a little base like in this area. So it'll be like a pretty small base. I do wanna make it look kinda nice, you know? Um, so we'll flatten the ground in this area and then we'll place down the little mining guys. And then we will go from there and build a little base here. Okay, why don't I flatten the ground first actually? And I'm gonna flatten it down to this level. Like, the flattening tool is next level, can I just say? <laughs> I love it. I love it so much. And I'm hopeful the hotspot is still the same. The density is the highest, like, here-ish. All right, that's looking good. It's looking, it's looking flat. Look how big this guy is. Can you even believe? Okay, excuse me, sir. Excuse me. Thank you. Okay, so right where the beacon is is where we want to place our mineral extractors and i think i'm gonna have them like out back outside of a little building let's put our base computer down like right here more claim the base 
Cool. And then let's go ahead and change the name really quick. And it is going to be called Ferrite Mine. And now we can start building stuff. So let's see. We are going to want the alloy stuff. I'm going to start by just putting some of these bad boys underfoot. All right, excellent. And then I am going to place some walls, I suppose. Um, let's put them here. Okay, we're out of ferrite dust, so hold on. Nobody panic. We're gonna get some more. And so for the building that I'm making right now, basically all that will be inside is a teleporter so that we can get over here quickly. And then we'll have like a couple large refiners that'll just be moving the paraffinium into ferrite dust. I probably have one to do paraffinium to ferrite and another one from ferrite to pure ferrite. Maybe if we're feeling crazy, a third one for magnetized ferrite, but that might be just like a later, a later date endeavor. Let's put a door. How about? Excellent. Um, I'm just going to fill up this whole area. All right. Couple more. All right, there's that. So my vision for this building, I'm going to put stairs up the side here. And then it's going to go... I guess actually what I want to do is make this like one smaller. I'll make this one smaller and then I'm going to do it like this. And then put a roof on top, and then I'm going to put a staircase along the left side and then up the back side. And then there will be a landing pad for our starship on top of there, is the plan. So let's do the stairs really quick. These creatures walking around is like shaking my entire camera. Okay, can we, can we go against the wall maybe? That could be nice. Against the wall? No? Okay, new thing. Rebuild. There we go. And it'll be like that. And then we'll have a tall little building. And then we'll put the, like, roof guy on here. Go here. Like that. Yes, thank you. And if I can zoom out enough to see what I'm doing, we can put these on top, like so. And a landing pad. Just the simple one, I think. This might be, like, way too big, actually. We can pull the front out a little bit, maybe. I'll get it sorted. Honestly, I don't hate it. If we just got, like, some support beams or something, it could be a vibe with it just like sticking out over the top. And we're still getting some light in from this. I do think I'm gonna replace some walls with windows. We'll just have light on uh, this whole side of the room. So we can see, honestly, maybe on both sides of the door. How's that? Is that nice? I love it. And then the mineral extractors are going to go here. I do feel like these are like kind of in the way for me walking around. So maybe we'll get rid of these. Honestly, what if we just did like this? Yeah, I think that's good. I think that's great. A little asymmetrical building happening here. Okay, now what did I say I needed for the mineral extractor? Is there like a front? Are we... I'm not sure. I feel like that looks like the front. Maybe we put the mineral extractors on the outside here and then we'll have the storage units on the other side. Excellent, there's one. We do need to make some power. Maybe we should put a little solar farm back here as well. It looks a little whack, but I don't have the small triangle, so it's just going to have to be that way for now. Okay. Um, cool. And then we can set up some solar panels down here. We need more metal plating for that. We'll just put them like this. Try to make the wiring look relatively not weird. But, you know, 
You know how that goes. It is still not getting enough power, so that's not good. Unpowered. Okay, yeah, we need at least two of these. And then can I make a battery? I don't know how to make a battery, so that's bad. Um, Yeah, I gotta unlock some more things. Turns out I was not prepared. Not prepared at all. Okay. Here is my new plan. Uh, I'm gonna pause for a second. I need to gather materials. I need to go get some more salvage data and I need to unlock a few more things for us. And then I will come right back. And for me, it'll be like an hour. For you, it'll be like four seconds. And that's great for you. Um, anyways, so I will be right back with the things that we need, and then we can finish building our little mine number one over here. So, uh, BRB. Are you dead or sleeping? Tell me you're sleeping. Is he okay? What's going on? Oh no, he's alive. He's alive. Nobody panic. Okay, we're back. We're back. Um, I unlocked a bunch more stuff and got a bunch of materials. And for some reason, my cable between my solar panel and my little generator here are on. So that's cool. But I did unlock the battery, so I am going to go ahead and set that up. If these animals could stop stomping around and causing this to, like, be moving a lot, that would be really excellent, actually. I'm just going to put it right here. Oh, wait, there's the cable. I guess they're just invisible. And then I do need another solar panel or else this ain't gonna work. All right, she's up and running, people. Look at her go. Okay, so it does seem like this guy needs 50, um, is it kilowatts? Is that what we're storing? I don't know, whatever the power unit is. Um, so in order to have multiple, that's gonna be fun. Um, and then I need to now build the supply depot. So I need 10 metal plating for that. So I am gonna need a lot of ferrite dust. 500 to be specific. Okay, so I can build the storage unit now, I believe. Yep. And then we'll do the supply pipe. And that should be storing. There is two hours until it's full. So, okay, I would like to build some more of these um, mineral, mineral extractors, but I think we're okay for the moment. Um, another thing we need to do is go in and finish out this. So I need to put in like a half full here, this guy, to close that in. And then I gotta put one on this side as well. Too close to Starship? Ugh, my life. Okay, um... Another thing I'm gonna do is build this pipeline. It is just a pipe, but I would like to build it here to look like a support beam. And there you go. She's supported. I feel like this needs a support beam as well. Beautiful. And then maybe like one more right here. I don't love that it's sticking out, but I don't hate it either. Okay. So that guy's still going. Soon we will have paraffinium for actually days. Inside, we're gonna need to build some refiners. I think let's put the refiners on this side and then since this has like a sloped roof, we will put our teleporter here. So I need some more metal plating, of course. Can't do anything without metal plating in this place. I do wish the lights were brighter. It's a little bit obnoxious how dark it is in here. But oh well. If anybody knows like a better way to light your buildings, please let me know because send help. I have a feeling I'm gonna need some more solar panels because I don't think this is gonna power this whole building. Okay. 
Let's put our teleporter in. Okay, so yeah. It still says it's extracting, but it's not moving. And it's red, which makes me feel like it's not working. I think we need some more solar panel. Oh my god, more metal plating. Kill me. All right, he's back online. Look at him go. Okay, um, I... The refiners are also gonna need power, I'm pretty sure. So it's probably gonna be worth just, like, loading this place up with solar panels. Especially because I plan to put more extractors here. Gonna need some more batteries, too, I think. Well, while we're waiting for the sun to come back up, let's keep building. Oh my god, I'm gonna have to move my starship. Why don't you come chill right here? Okay, yes, back to this. So I want to put this here, like that, and that's all for now because I'm out of ferrite dust again. Who would have guessed it? Oh, and then we need to put in this roof as well. Perfect. Oh, we're powered. Power's back on. We're back online. Have we stored any yet? Oh my god, we have 250. I'm gonna use that immediately because I need more ferrite dust already. But see, look how nice this is. Like, I think it was a good call to set this up first because, like, we have already, like, been struggling to have fair ideas to build any of this stuff. So, this is super nice. Okay, before it gets dark, we need to put another battery in. It's all in the grid. 24% charged. <laughs> is KPS, like, an actual unit of measurement? Like, I feel like electricity is usually measured in, like, watts. Or amps, right? Like, did they just use P for power? Or maybe I just don't know what I'm talking about. It's fine. Ignore me. Ignore me. Okay, well that is going enough for now. I think let's do some flying around. See if we can't find a deposit for copper so we can do a chromatic metal mine as well. Because God knows we need it. Okay, there's a B-tier mineral deposit. I'm not gonna lie, y'all, this is extremely tedious, so if this is the mineral that we're looking for, I think we just do it, you know what I mean? I think we got extremely lucky with the S-tier being the first one we found. See what we got. Okay, it is copper. That is the one we needed. So, do we just do it? I think it honestly might be worth it. Because <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not trying to do this forever, you know what I mean? Okay, here's our new beacon. I will keep looking a little bit longer. And if I don't find anything, you know, relatively quickly, I will just use the B-tier ones that we've already found. Because, like, honestly, it's not that bad. They don't need to be S-tier. It'll be okay. You know? Like, who are we kidding, really? Thinking we are going to find... All S tier stuff. No. It ain't happening. Oh my god. There's an A tier electromagnetic power hotspot out here. If it's in this valley, that's actually gonna be perfect. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. New beacon. Let's see what we're working with here. Because this, well, this will be where our base is. I mean, yeah, this looks good. I can flatten this out. I want it to be, like, pretty big. I think that should be excellent. Like, I'm thinking this could be the entrance to the base. And we'll have, like, an entry building right here. And then everything else would be, like, in scattered buildings. With the ele electromagnetic stuff off to the side there. Look, I'm seeing the vision. I don't know if my description of the vision is going to come through, but I see the vision and I think this will work. Let's get this base computer down. We'll put it right here. All right, we did it. I wonder what I need to build this. Magnetized ferrite and two metal platings. Honestly, I can build that right now. I'm just gonna put one down so like I know where the hotspot is so it's not lost. 
So what if we flatten the ground as usual? Okay, yes, that's looking good. So I'm thinking I'm gonna build the generators in the middle and then a building like around them or next to them. Now we can build it. Oh yeah, check that out. 241 KP. Amazing. Incredible. Okay. So yes, I think that one is the one I'm looking for. Yes, it is. Okay, we didn't lose it, y'all. Nobody panic. Okay, how do we want to set this one up? Maybe we flatten like this? Oh my gosh, look, I think I cut through to the other side. Almost. Oh, nope, it loaded in. Just kidding. Unless... No, I think I did almost cut through to the other side. Maybe I just should. Right? Okay. I did it. I did it. I flattened it real good. Um, for some reason, it's now telling me that the hotspot is highest over here. When it, like, definitely was over here before. I'm actually just extremely confused by this. Literally seconds ago, it was, like, 40-something right here. I have no idea. Interesting. Okay. This certainly could have been going while I was terraforming, but oh well. Okay, let's place the base computer right here. Same base. Dramatic metal mine. Okay, we'll start there. Okay, I'm putting those three. She's looking good. All right, well, let's keep going with what we have so far. Okay, excellent. I like this. I am going to put a second story. Because why not? And what if we, like, change the color? We can make it yellow, like copper. Okay. Okay, excellent. Everything's yellow. I need to build one more room in the middle. She's beautiful. Okay, I might be able to build, like, one extractor. I need five metal plating. And we can do it. It seems to be good right here, so I'm just gonna put it right here. And then what if I want to make a landing pad up here? Is that possible? Oh no, it says invalid position for some reason. Right here is valid though. Right in the middle of the wall. But on top, absolutely not. Definitely not. Okay, well I guess we'll just put it on the ground because it won't let us put it on the roof, which is actually incredibly lame, but that's okay. We'll line it right up with the building. And then our starship can be on that. Okay, y'all. It's been a it's been a while for me. I've been doing a lot of math. I've been doing a lot of planning. And here's what I'm thinking. So for each of our mines, I want to have five extractors and five supply depots. And then I think I'm gonna need at least ten solar panels for each base. So I have four here. So I need six more. And then I'm gonna do four batteries, I think, or let's do five batteries at each. Um, so I'm here at the ferrite mine to finish that out right now. Um, I have a lot of metal plates in my inventory <laughs> and I'm working on getting a bunch of ferrite dust as that is extracting stuff for us. So, but I think we have enough right now to actually finish this base and then we can move on to the second one for the copper. So let's start with Building more extractors. One, two, three, four, and five. And then for our supply depots here, we've got one. So here's two, three, four, and five. All right, excellent. That's looking pretty good, I gotta say. It's looking a lot more like a mine. Okay, so now we need to connect all of these. This is for sure gonna overload our grid. But, you know what? It's all good. 
Okay, those are all blue. Perfect. One, two, three, and four. And then I honestly think we just need to connect these together too. And since they're all connected, it should connect them all to each other. Alright, so our total storage is now 6250. And we are extracting at 2000 per hour. So, loving it. Great. We're gonna be drowning in paraffinium. Okay, now let's do the solar panels. So, okay, let's see. We currently have four. So, I guess let's put one right here. Finish out this row. Seven. Wait. Five, six, seven, eight and 10. Now let's wire these all up. All right, everything's online. You can hear them going. The ground is shaking. What a moment. All right, now we just gotta put down some batteries. So we currently got two, so here's three, four, and then let's wire all of these together. Okay, so I think we're gonna be okay for power. Think we're gonna be a-okay. Okay, okay. so the last couple things for this base is gonna add in a couple of refiners and I think we might be done after that. I did add in some lights because it was uncomfortably dark. They're a little tall but they're the only lights I had so it's fine. I haven't actually gotten the large refiners yet so we're just gonna just gonna have these ones but they will function very well. So there's one and we'll put the second one right here. There's room for a third someday. Excellent. So we can make all our stuff now and we don't need portable refiners for it. Here she is. The ferrite mine. Going for it. Two. All right, let's move on to the next one. Finish that one up too. All right, where do we want to put the solar panels in this one? Maybe we just like put them on top. That sounds fun. So we got one, two, three, four, and five and let's go ahead and give them wiring let's put one like right here and then straight down to here and then from here to here all right she's extracting we do need some more flooring okay cool one two three Four. And then we gotta make some more extractors. Here is number two. Perfect. And then let's put all our wiring in. Okay, now what do we need to make the teleporter? I think this corner would be a good spot for it. Metal plating. Is anyone surprised? No. And two carbon nanotubes. Okay. Awesome. Beautiful. Okay, I have everything I need, I think. We're gonna make some more solar panels. One. I'm worried that they are not going to face the same direction. We shall see. Because I want them to like face opposite from each other. Three, four, and five. Okay, hold on. Let me just fix this one really quick. Excellent. Now we can connect them all together. Okay, so how come this one is not making enough power, but the other one was? That's so bizarre. Maybe this building takes more power? That certainly could be it. Oh, it's on. Okay, now we need to make some batteries. All right, excellent. And we need more wire. Okay, yeah, now we're cooking. And we just need to build one more supply depot. I think I might replace a few of these with the glass ones. I think I want like a glass strip just like down the middle. Does that sound cool? And we'll put in that one. Then we're gonna delete that one, replace it with glass. And we're going to delete this one, replace it with glass. Nice. Love it. 
We got windows. Okay, and then on this side, I'm gonna just put in a couple refiners. So it seems like at night we just like lose power, which is like not ideal, but it is what it is, I guess. We'll get our stuff once we once it's daytime. I don't know. Oh, and I never built the fifth storage unit either. Whoops. Cool. Awesome. It's like dark and scary in here. I am concerned about the lack of electricity. The last thing I want to do here is just make a little walkway out front because we don't really have one. Okay, we're making a nice little walkway. Excellent. I wonder if we can... Ooh, we can. We could make the... Maybe we make them purple. Oh yeah, this is good. Oh yeah, that's looking good. Okay, I think we're good here, y'all. So here's our second base. This one's for copper, which we will turn in to chromatic metal. Sweet, well I'm glad we got these finished. We're gonna be swimming in resources next time and then we can actually start building our base. I think I also might next time go in and try to upgrade, you know, our multi-tool, maybe get a better starship, stuff like that. Oh my god, this thing's so close. <gasps> I'm so scared. All right, y'all. Well, I think I'm gonna leave it at that. We've got our new little farms, um, ferrite farm. We've got a chromatic metal farm. I guess they're more of mines than farms. It's fine. Um, and those are gonna come in handy for our next episode when we build or start working on our base. Our main base, it's gonna be big, it's gonna be beautiful, it's gonna be amazing. So stick around for that. If you like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, all those fun things so I know to keep making it for you. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.